first introduce you to the wheel. This is the potter's wheel. This is the stool. This is the wheel head. These are the back pins. We'll talk about those later. And then down on the side, on the shimpos, there is a foot pedal. And then there's also a knob that's up front here. If you are right-handed, the top of the knob should be flipped toward the front, or this way. And if you are left-handed, it should go the other way. But regardless, when you are switching directions or turning it on, um, you've got to really think about what direction you're going to flip it. So if, again, if you are right-handed, the top should come toward you. The, if you're left-handed, the top should go away. But um, if you switch it the wrong direction, for example, I'm, if I flip it to the back and not thinking you know, what I'm supposed to be doing, I need to turn it off, wait for that motor sound to stop, and then change directions. If I just flip it front to back or back to front, it actually doesn't change directions and it confuses the wheel, theoretically, um, and it can burn up the switch and the motor. So again, please make sure that you actually um, go the right direction or if you need to change it, turn it off, wait for a minute, and then change it and put it the other direction. Now, so that's the wheel. That's the regular wheel. Um, we've got, oh, nine of those. And then there's the Thomas Stewart, which is the green one. The green one has a loose pedal. It does not have the stick, but it has the loose pedal there. And then there's just a little light switch. Up means it's on, down means it's off. And then there's the foot pedal that'll change the speed. All of them have the foot pedal. If you come over, there are two other shampoos that have the brown splash pan, this being the splash pan, but it's a little bit different. There's a light switch that turns it on, and then there's the direction switch. Um, for some reason, it's actually backwards in the other two shampoos, and right-handed, you flip the top toward the front, and for left-handed, top toward the back. Okay, And then again, if nothing is happening, it probably means that you don't have the little light switch at the bottom flipped up. So those are the three types of wheels. You also need to have a bat. There are the brown bats, which have two sets of holes at the bottom, and the ones that are furthest out have three bumps. Those are the ones that you need to line up those are the bat pin holes. Those are the ones that line up with the pins over on the wheel. There are also the black bats. Those only have two sets of holes. But one is more oblong. One is just round, but very often they're loose. And when I start throwing, I'll show you how to uh, make that so it's not too loose. Okay, then back here, there are the regular aprons. And then there are the wheel aprons. The wheel aprons are usually the ones that are really, really messy, and they're longer, and they've got a split in them. Those are the ones you want to wear when you're actually going to throw. Just going back to the wheels. At the wheels, there should be a bucket. Now notice how clean that is and how clean all the tools are. These are the tools that should be in there. That's a turning tool cutoff wire, plastic scraper, needle tool, and a small round sponge. Those are the only five tools that should be in there when you're done. And they should be clean, the bucket should be clean, and when you're done the wheel should be clean. And then you should put the stool back upside down on the wheel. All the tools, clean tools, should go in the clean bucket, and then the bucket should go on top of the stool. So that's how to set up the wheel and how to make sure that it's all put back together when you're done. Okay.